All right, y'all. Good morning. Sorry about the sun. Um, we are uh, on the back side of the property here, and our lane clearing guy is here, and he just went by. I was going to go down there and speak to him, see, see how it was going. Uh, but let's walk down there and get a get a closer look. Uh, this machine is pretty awesome. I know you've seen it before. So you know it's the you know the Bobcat style. He's got a John Deere you know track loader with um, the mulching head on it. So let's walk down here. I'll turn the camera around and show you what he's done already. Pretty awesome. coming off the front here you can see already what he's done i'm gonna tell y'all this is an amazing amazing thing and he does two he does two um you know paths you know back forth <clears throat> whatever and man oh man does it do a good job i'm I, he's going down back this way i'm gonna put a stand here in the middle and i uh, have some shooting lanes he um it rained a lot this past week, and so I'm hoping it's not too wet down there. But what is exciting is we've got a lot of pine trees coming back. And some of them are actually, I mean, I'm, I'm 5'10", and this one right here is taller than me already. And these are, I think, three years old. I could be wrong about that. They could be a little bit older than that, but I think they're three. There's a lot of pines in here, so that's good. They ended up coming back and hand planting them after uh, the natural seeding process didn't really work. But he told me that he would try to avoid as many pine trees as he could. Hopefully uh, that will happen. I, You know, it's not inevitable. Oh man, y'all look at this. He has got it going on, man. Oh man, look at this. This is beautiful. Let's go catch up with him, see what we can do. He's headed, he's headed down to where it's, I think he went down this one. He's headed down here where it's muddy. Let's go down here and see if we can catch up with him. All right, so he's actually he's actually dragging it. He's got a little drag on the back too that he's tearing it up really good. We were gonna do a food plot down on this back corner back here, but it is super duper wet. And um, the way these paths are gonna be once he gets cleared with them, or once he gets done with them, there's a nice, nice scrape right there. Really nice scrape. Um, he said, you'll be able to drive your truck down here. So, you know, if, if it's down to the dirt like that, I can throw some clover out, you know, some of that simple throw and grow seed out on these paths. And that's an instant food plot. There's no need to go down there. And plus that leaves, that leaves as many pine trees as possible as well, which is the goal. So decided not to do that. He's coming back. He's doing, he's coming up here. He's doing two too wide like i said so yeah and this is going to be this is going to be where the stand is right here this open area and we'll have as you'll see i'll show you here once the stand is up one lane two lane three lane four lane five lane just absolutely absolutely beautiful let's walk this way a little bit and take a look at it i was hoping i was gonna find a deer shed back here you probably mulched them all up though but y'all look at this i mean this is fresh dirt all you got to do is throw some seed out on this and you know we'll keep it bush hogged and keep it sprayed 
I've got that little drag that we used a couple times in some videos earlier last year. So, yeah, man. Gonna be good. him last time that he's got an extra power pack on top of that skid steer there because that mulching head that mulching head really pulls the power and so they had to have that extra power pack on top of that thing but if you're interested and you're local and you want this guy's number let me know he does a good job Last thing here I wanted to show you, right here's the creek. You can see it winding through and um, you, you can see how nice the pine trees are in here. But um, he came down, the last time he came, he cleared out on that side and he has come down here and he's gonna connect the two so that I can make my bridge to be able to get the tractor on this side. So that's probably gonna be our next project, y'all, is working on that creek bridge. Woo! That ought to be fun, but we got some telephone poles that we haven't used and have been laying up there for a while. So uh, he said, he said, which I, I find this hard to believe, but I know those things are pretty tough. He said that at his hunting club, that when they build them, they use four tele telephone poles and that supports that machine, that skid steer. I feel like that thing is so heavy and I feel like four telephone poles um, doesn't seem like a lot. Seems like it would, especially if you had a big um, span that it would kind of sag in the middle. But I guess if you support it some in the middle, it'd probably work. But anyway, that's what we got, y'all. Super excited. Enough of that. Let's go get some scrap. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get started on these today. I don't think I can stack them high enough. Those lights are in the way. And I didn't want to unload them twice. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, lay, I'm gonna lay them down. That'll give me a little bit more clearance. So maybe I can get three or four of them on there. I may be able to get them all on there. It was gonna be, might be a job. I might be able to get them all on there, I doubt it. Let's lay these down and see what we can do. I also, the, I was gonna use the forklift. I couldn't get the forklift to start and I'm probably the most forklift illiterate person there ever was. And I don't wanna screw anything up that's not mine. So I went in there to try to get the forklift. It didn't work. So I'm just gonna just stack them and oh boy, would that be nice. Not today though. All right, y'all know the drill by this point. We gotta get these little pieces off the top. Gotta to stand them up. We gotta get them in this trailer. That's the deal. I would love some help, but not today. you is these pieces that stick up right here because then you have to get the next one over top of it there we go first one's always the easiest
<laughs> just kidding but we do have three up there do we dare <gasps> do we dare go four can we even do it yeah. I'm a little nervous my shoulders are gonna be begging for mercy here in a little bit I think we can do it I think I can I think I can I think I can I think I can Had to pull over real quick because I didn't do the all important strap fling, right? It's not going anywhere. Yeah, we're good. Tell you what, they are busy today. Lined up. Zach said they ain't really been that busy. Um, but it don't look that way today. I've been waiting here for a few minutes, but that's all right. He's been, Zach's been over there loading uh, aluminum in that truck. So just waiting my turn, waiting my turn. Marty doesn't work here anymore, so the boss man's got to do the crane, I guess. Zach said he's gonna take the racks off of mine and put them on top of the aluminum trailer. Hold it down with it, that's pretty smart. That's using the old noodle. All right, quick little $100 day there. I'll take that. It's enough to get some gas and some lunch and a little bit for the piggy bank. So, can't believe we got all those on there. I don't remember how many there were. Maybe seven, six, seven. I don't know. But that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We got a little bit of hunting and scrapping all in one video today. So it's Friday. Beautiful day. It is supposed to be mid-60s today. Doesn't look like there's a cloud in the sky today. Nice bluebird day. And I'll take that anytime in mid-February. So I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you uh, can get everything you need to get done. Maybe you can get out and get a little scrapping done this weekend. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button. And we will see you on the next video. Whoosh.